Henry Grimes is a double bass player. He was born on November 3rd, 1935. As a child, Henry Grimes wanted to play the violin, so he did. He played the tuba, English horn, and percussion. At around age 13 or 14, he started to play the double bass. Henry Grimes was very interested in free jazz. He performed with many famous musicians at the time, like pianist Salise Taylor and saxophonist Steve Lacey, Verona Sanders, Archie Shep, and Albert Ehler. He released one album named The Call with his trio for the ESP disc in 1965. The album features musician Perry Robinson on a clarinet and Tom Price on the drums and is considered to be a great representation of his career. He also studied music in Juilliard. In 1950s, he performed with saxophones Sonny Rollins and Jerry McGowan and with pianist Thelonious Monk. Charles Mingus selected Henry Grimes as a second bass player in his band. He played with Benny Goodman for a short period of time. In the late 60s, Grimes moved to California. In 1984, a magazine reported that he died. Many people in the music world thought he was dead. But rumors in 1999 popped up that Henry Grimes was still possible. Alive, when Marshall Monet, a jazz fan, set out to discover what happened to Grimes. In 2003, he found Grimes, but Grimes was very poor and had fallen out of the jazz world. He rented a small apartment in Los Angeles, California. In 2003, Henry Grimes started back up in the jazz world. Grimes appeared on the cover of Double Bassist, a magazine, and Henry Grimes was named Musician of the Year by All About Jazz slash New York for the year 2003. Henry set up a jazz trio with Andrew Lamb and Newman Taylor. Henry Grimes continues to play the bass to this day.